Hello, welcome to Skill Bell Tutorials. This is Arun here with Liferay 6.2 Development Tutorials, session number 11. In the previous sessions, we have learned about action phases, render phases, and passing a data from the JSP to your action phase or uh, submitting a form to um, a controller and receiving the data which is submitted from a JSP to the controller. So that, that part we have learned in the previous sessions and in this session we are going to see a simple storage mechanism that support lit preferences. So for that we have to get, uh, we have to use uh, an object called portlet preferences. So I'm going to write that portlet preferences code uh, into my uh, into my uh, action phase. Here's my action phase. So I'm just going to type portlet preferences. So you can get the Java X dot portlet preferences and its implementation from Liferay also available. I'm just going to get the portlet preferences from Java X portlet and I just store it as prev and this portlet preferences I can get from the action request or from the render request action request dot get preferences so this is what I'm doing so I got my portlet preferences from my action request uh, now what I can do with this preference is uh, there is a key value pair I can store with a key and a corresponding value to this preferences just like a hash map or something like so here I'm going to do like pref dot set value so you can set a value what I'm going to set is the value name I want to set in the portlet preference so I'm passing the name which I have received from my JSP to my action phase I received the name and that name I'm going to set as the preference dot set value with a key name so let, let for avoiding the confusion we'll just make the key as username and the value as name and I need to do a pref dot store. This is what I need to do. So this time, what what will happen? A portlet preferences object will be uh, retrieved from the action request, and the value you name uh, the name which I passed from the form will be stored in the username key. And this I will be able to take at my JSP as well. So this is what um, so far I have done. I have created, uh, I have retrieved the portlet preferences object and I stored a um, value uh, into that portlet preferences. Now, what I can do with the portlet preferences at the JSP side is, I'm just um, doing um, with the JSP scriptlet over here. So you can see my screen. So here's what I'm going to do. Here I'm going to do with the same thing, portlet preferences. I need to get it back, pref equal to. Here I need to use render request because I'm rendering the page. So I'll, I need to use render request dot get preferences. So I'll get the uh, preferences um, which I have been uh, already doing that preferences I'll be getting I think there is some mismatch happen I have to do with the Java exportlet so I don't need this import I remove that and now my page looks like portlet preferences I received uh, from the render request and now I need to get pref dot get value so pref dot get value the key I need to pass is the username which I have stored here so this key I'm storing here and 
if there is no value returned i am going to pass this no value so pref dot get value i am expecting a string to be returned string name so this is what i am going to do so let me just avoid the confusion again i am just going to do with the spring username so if there is a username present uh, with this key then this username is going to print at the ui that's what going to happen so i i didn't write a code to print that say so here here is uh, i'm going to put a div and name equal to strong i'm just trying to put this as a strong um, so i want to print that in bold i just gave the strong and the user name i got from here i'm just trying to print so all, all these things what i have i'm expecting is uh, whenever i submit the form that form will um submitted with a name and that name will be received in my uh, process action and that uh, name will be set into the um, storage of uh, portlet preferences storage and in the portlet preference i retrieve back in the same view dot jsp and i'm going to print that at the ui so each time i change the name i am expecting the name should be changed at the ui as well so let me just deploy and deploy okay the deployment of this portlet is completed now i'm just reloading the page so you see after deploying the portlet the name printed as no value that means there is no portlet preferences with username key uh, username as a key is not set anywhere uh, it so now i'm going to give skill bell tutorials as my name just submit it and you could see the skill bell tutorials has been received uh, retrieved and shown here so that means now the portlet controller uh, got the name which i submitted through a form that name uh, got saved into the portlet preferences and that is retrieved back in the jsp and it rendered to the ui now i am changing that name to neonix software solutions so obviously neonix software solutions is going to get printed over here now i am submitting with a blank screen so the this came blank because i set that blank value to that particular uh, portlet preferences key so i am just going to print the neonix software solutions back again so that neonix software solutions has been set hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you understood um, what is the use of portlet preferences and how you need to use the portlet preferences thank you for watching the skill bell tutorials keep watching again and keep supporting us thank you again